obviously anytime you have been out of the game for a while you want to try to feel the puck early hopefully the wild don't give up any outnumbered situations and he gets a couple easy ones early and the wild win the opening face off and they go to work outscoring opponents 25 15 over that stretch kulak back in his own zone up the boards and a good stick by dubba breaks it up and they score hoffman blasts one by talbot and on the game's first shot montreal leads it 1-0 Introduce Cam the first shot you want is something where you can really feel the puck here a bit of a Kind of a turnover a little bit of a broken play Matt Dumba gets his stick on the on the puck and it just pops out into open ice and Hoffman who you don't have to ask twice to shoot the puck. He's a he's a shooter. He just gets all of that rolling puck and is able to Beat Cam Talbot right over top of the glove Hartman tries to go down and block it. He does plays to the corner for Greenway he fights off a check from Savard, throws it back down low. Erickson Eck tried to tuck it in. Felino there, and a whistle as Primo has it covered. Erickson Eck wins the draw. Spurgeon across to Goligoski. Back in the middle, Greenway a shot. That was blocked. Goligoski takes a look, feeds Spurgeon, winds, fire, scores! How many times in his career here in Minnesota have we seen Jared Spurgeon on that right side coming down, blowing over a goaltender's glove? A couple nights ago, he hit the crossbar post, just missed his shot, but that's definitely his shot. And Erickson Eck right in front of the paint. Watch Erickson Eck push Sherratt right back into the goaltender. The goaltender could not see it and could not get big because Erickson Eck was doing what Erickson Eck does right in front of the net. And the Wilder have tied this game up. Loose puck grabbed by Erickson Eck just over the Montreal line. He dumps to the corner as Minnesota wants to make a change. Strange Karen Greenway out front of his backhander went wide. Erickson Eck tried to ricochet one off the goal stick. In front on the backhand. It's a 1-1 game in St. Paul. Merrill trying to hold the zone. Lekkinen unable to clear. Zuccarello for Hartman. Kick saved by Primo. Hartman went top glove the first time and changed it up and they haven't had a power play So it's just it's tough sledding right now for the Montreal Canadiens Merrill to Greenway in the corner. He fires. Save Primo. Felino wheels and fires. They score! Erickson Eck was laying down out front Felino coming off the game winner Saturday has the go-ahead goal here tonight had a great opportunity to score earlier again shot near the front of the net 1-4 Just pitching a tent wherever he wants around the front of the net Weidman could not handle him at all great shot by Jordan Greenway who's been shooting the puck on net a lot more And when you shoot pucks on net Zuccarello around for Kaprizov Into the middle Erickson Eck back across Boldy denied Boldy got it back Find Spurgeon. Great play by Erickson Eck on the back door. This puck just jumps up and rolls up. It boldly hits that clean. I know Primo made a great save. Evans has it poked away. Felino out front. Erickson Eck. He went skate to stick. Didn't get much on it. And Primo makes the save and hangs on. Out to center. Spurgeon backpedals. Across to Goligoski. Sturm one touch for Dewar. Dewar, fire, scores! First in the NHL for Connor Dewar! And it's 3-1 Minnesota! Spock won nice little tip pass there by Nico Sturm, gets him in full stride, and I like that he didn't try to make an extra pass, and anytime you're going to shoot top glove, you want to try to get it right over top of the shoulder, not outside, and that just buzzes the tower right beside his ear he is not able to handle that and congratulations Connor Dewar you're gonna remember that one forever Dean Evison after the game Saturday night said he looked at the sheet and realized that he didn't play the fourth line enough they reward him here with a goal Spurgeon centers and here's another on the same shift as Nico Sturm tips it in two for the fourth line and it's 4-1 Minnesota and able to contribute on the offensive side Jared Spurgeon looking on the back door I think Connor Dewar he did tip that puck that's a pretty good shift Connor Dewar pick up a goal and assist looking on the looking for the back door Jared Spurgeon I thought maybe he'd go short side roof 
Fiala turns it back the other way. He sends Felino in. Felino denied. Primo with a pad stop. Stopping Felino's quest for a second goal of the night. Suzuki sidestepped a Dumba hip check at center. Zuccarello out to the line. Held by Romanov, but intercepted. It's a three on two for the Wild. Zuccarello drops to Kaprizov. Back to Zuccarello. A shot. He scores! Great defensive play by Zuccarello. This was not a great pass by Kirill Kaprizov. Putting it in his feet. He's able to kick it to his stick. And then we talked about the... The area right over the glove that sometimes, I know the first two of the four goals went in over his glove, and sometimes when you don't know a whole lot about a goaltender, you might talk on the bench a little bit more and say anytime you get a scoring chance, let's see if that area is open again. Kevin Fiala, the third member that came into this game with an eight-game streak, has not yet found the score sheet tonight. And they score. Kakinen came out. And Pitlick beats him over the glove side. The former Wild winger, Minnesota native, has his eighth goal of the season, and the Canadians cut it. And then about 30 seconds later in the offensive zone, the Canadians have not had a whole lot of time down there. A bit of a defensive breakdown. Nice play by Paquette. Gets it out to Ram Pitlick, and we've seen he has the ability to finish around the net. They're on the power play, but Montreal has already cut the Wild lead to 5-2. to two. And had a good look right there. Boldy to Kaprizov. Back to Boldy. Scores! Boldy again. Very similar goal that we saw earlier to Matt Zuccarello scored. And again, I like this by Matt Boldy. He wasn't looking to pass the puck. I thought the first couple periods, starting to see a lot more passing by Matt Boldy drift into his game. But this time he takes the puck. On a nice fleet fight by Zuka, or by uh, Kaprizov, and just beats the goaltender's short side and pretend like you've been there, son. Out of boy. Played it across. Kulak couldn't hold the zone. Boldy has it. Boldy feeds Fiala. Minnesota changing as Fiala will circle back. Got it to Stern. Back to Ben. He scores. First with the wild for Jordy Ben. And it's 7-2 Minnesota. Jordy Ben decides it's the right time to get up into the play. Great heads up play there by Nico Sturm to just chip that one off. That's the second assist where he's just chipped it off to the side. And Jordy Ben goes low blocker like he's done it a thousand times. He hasn't scored a thousand goals. He's got a thousand blocks in the National Hockey League. Anthony, this wild team basically gave this Montreal Canadian team no chance to win this game tonight. They gave them no chance because of how they took care of the puck in the offensive zone. Erickson Eck trying to jam one in from the side of the net. Boldy with a takeaway then tried to behind the back pass for Fiala. Another takeaway. Boldy settles it down. Goudreau drives in. Fiala scores! around the, uh, quite a bit. They've had some scoring chances here. I think John, or Freddie Goudreau taking the puck to the net on his backhand. That's the second or th third time we've seen that. And Kevin, Kevin Fiala, who's been on fire of late. Six goals in his last eight games coming into this one. Second effort. Seconds left. And this time it will just roll to the finish. And the Wild match a franchise record with eight goals in the game.